Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of the Culture Podcast. You know the podcast for the unsung hero. The person with a voice you might not necessarily know who they are, so they come to kick it with me. Today I got my man, Shy Jones. He got his new track, Murder Man Dancing. He got Smoke D on there and Live on there. Trill Life. What's up with it, Shy Jones? What's up, big baby? What's that deal, big boy? Man, you know, I'm just like, I, I listen to the track, I got it on, as you can hear, man. Oh, can you hear that? Yes, sir. I'm like, man, I've been playing it back to back. Like, this is hot right here, man. This is hot, man. Are you Okay. Right, I, I, I just wanted to play a little bit of that, though. So man, what's going on with it, man? You didn't you didn't switch it up on us right quick, man. You you in another state now. What's going on? What you up to now? Oh we. Uh well, you know, sometimes when it ain't working where it's supposed to be working at, you know, you gotta take it where it works. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, well got things together, got life together, you know, got right. Um got on that trio life thing and uh yeah, got on out of there. So tell me how it all started, man. I know you was back home in Chicago for a while uh, doing music, and uh, you never seemed to give up. I noticed that you just kept plugging away at it. And what what what, what inspired you to just keep going, man? Because I know you've been, how long you been in the music? Since I could walk, since I could read, since I could write. But the thing about it is, man, you know, we spoke about this before, you know, a long time, every time we talk, you know, Pretty much persistence is the key to anything you do. You know what I'm saying? You work hard enough, you can achieve. You know what I'm saying? If you give up, it was never meant to be. You know what I mean? Right, right. My thing is, right. you know, you grind till you can unwind, you know? So. Right. And that's pretty much at the point where I am right now. You know, um, I know you as um, in the city. And uh, you was trying to get it done out in Chicago, and you just kept plugging away with it, plugging away with it. But then you end up going down south. How did you get down there? What happened with that? Well, I went to uh, actually I lived in Atlanta for a few years. Uh, you know, I did a bunch of ghostwriting for a few people, but you know, like I said, we can't you know, keep that where that's at. Uh, went to Atlanta, okay. lived in Atlanta for a few years. Then uh, after I left Atlanta, headed back. Uh, headed back up north for a little while, but uh, you know, got to a point where I was like, you know, I'll start going back to the ghost and thing, helping, trying to help other people do what they do, in whatever the case may be. And then um, I was having a long conversation, you know, and the person told me that, uh, you know, it sounds like you're giving up on what you believe in, because if you're willing to hand it off to somebody else, you know, you don't want to run the ball, so you want to hand it off. You know what I'm saying? If you know you don't want to score, go score. You know what I'm saying? So the ball was placed back in my right. ball was placed back in my hands. I took it and I ran with it. So I ended up doing a show. Uh, I think it was uh, I'm trying to think was that May? I think it was May. I was in Pensacola, Florida, and um, I performed in Pensacola, and uh, some other artists were on the show as well. And one of the artists that was on the show was uh, Smoke D of UGK slash Trio Life and uh, Live. So I performed, they performed, you know, after that, we talked for a few minutes. We went, sat down, you know, had dinner, you know, we broke bread like men do, you know, like real men do. We broke bread and we decided, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to go hang out for a little while. We hung out, started playing some tracks and listening and whatever the case may be, how long we're going to be in town, you know. So ended up having three days free and Smoke suggested, you know, while we're in Pensacola, hey, man, let's go to Jackson. You know, let's go to, let's go to Mississippi. I said, well, I got some free time. Let's go. So we packed up and we headed on to Mississippi and we ended up getting in Mississippi. And like I said, we sitting around vibing, listening to some tracks. And, and I played one and Smoke looked at me and said, bro, bro. I said, yeah, what's up, Mason? That's it. Put that on repeat and don't turn it off. And we put it on repeat. Everybody <laughs> grabbed pen and pad and paper. We sat there and typed on the phone. Smoke started humming the hook. Liv started singing the hook. And we, we threw it in the pot, man. I think we, I, to be honest with you, bro, I think we finished that song in probably an hour. An hour? An hour. Wow. And the next day, we got up, 
we met up, we talked for a minute, we set up the studio time. We went in the studio in Jackson, Mississippi uh, with my guy Shane, Mr. Thompson, went in the studio with Shane and we went in the studio exactly one hour of recording. Wow. But here's, wow. here's the funny part. That's the, here's the funny part about this, Mom. Nobody knew each other's verses. Wow. Until we were in the studio. The first time I heard oh, smoke, no, real talk, bro. The first time I heard Smoke's verse, it was recorded. Wow. He walked out and said, You ready, bro? I said, Yeah, I got up and I walked in. He walked out the booth. I walked in the booth. Dude sat there, put him together. Lib put that angel voice on that hook. And that's what we came out with. That was nasty. Yes, sir. That's nasty. What what inspired the name though? Murder Man Dancing though. Well, you know what? Actually, uh Smoke D inspired the name. You know, because he when he started okay. singing that hook and then Liv jumped in there and they was murder man got the green uh, lemon, uh, lemon, uh, and when they took off, I was sitting there like, you know, and, and the track was doing what it was doing, you know what I'm saying? And put the pieces together, man. I mean, just just magic, bro. Just magic. Hey man, that's that that for for y'all that had done that in two hours. So you saying that was two hours worth totally, of work? Basically. Totally. From the night that we started to work totally. to the next day when it was recorded. So two hours flat. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I tabulated that. I was like, y'all wrote it in an hour and dropped it in an hour. Could you imagine what y'all gonna do together, man, once y'all really get rolling? Oh, yeah. man? Do you know that's that? That's why I'm here. I mean, is it? I just want to let you know, you know, my daughter got skills, so I, I, want, I want you to put on track. You know, my daughter called blood. I trust you with it, though. I trust my man because he, he, that's my man. That's Will. Will from the park. That's why I know him from Hooper. Don't get it twisted. In the celebrity game, you might as well get him the MVP already because he's going to let it. <laughs> but you know what, though, man? That's crazy how you was able to be able to be with a legend like like Smoke D them man them UGK them man them dudes is legends yeah, man you know what I'm saying like everybody know who UGK is bro you know everybody know what that is and for you to come full circle with them how does that make you feel I mean it was like <clears throat> you're in the midst of wave makers man you know what I'm saying these got way made they you know they made ways for you bro you know what I'm saying to honestly be, to be in a room and to go from you know What's good, big bro? Yeah, you good, man. I saw you up there. And, you know, we had our conversation. Then, then the next day, you know, the next night, we breaking bread. We sit at the table. We we looking at each other and whatever the case may be. And, and we in a room now. And we got pen and paper. We looking at each other. And we like, you know, let's go. You know, and it's like, that's big. Because, see, I can go back and play them albums because I bought them. You, you know what I'm saying? You better know it. You better know it. I'm, I'm driving <laughs> on the west side of Chicago heading towards, the, heading towards that wild, wild. And I'm, I'm beating me right. to UGK. And now I'm in the booth with one of them? Come on, man. That don't happen. Over, well, I guess it do happen overnight, huh? Look at that. All right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I'm going to tell you, man. The boys, man, you know, I went to Jackson State. So I was down there, you know, five years in Mississippi from 89 to 95. So I got a chance to hear all that stuff firsthand. Oh, yeah. And I used to come home. I come home to Chicago. It ain't even out. The music hit down south right. first. People don't know right. that. All the music down south first. By the time it get hit, be old, yeah. man. So that's why Atlanta and places like that, they everybody got to go there because they putting out the fresh music down south, man, in, the, in Mississippi and places like that. So that was a power move, man, and the move that uh, that happened for you and Smoke and Smoke D yeah. and um, and Liv. That was that was that was. That was like God, man. That was God-like because you can't orchestrate that. Oh, yeah. It's impossible to be able to put that together. So I can see a, a power, a, a, what they call it, a big three. Oh, yeah. I can see something happening, man, special with y'all, man. So uh, tell me, man, this. When do y'all plan on performing that song? Because I want to be there, man. Are y'all going to do that song live somewhere? Oh, wow. I think we got something coming up on the 13th, which is uh, next Saturday, if I'm correct. And then uh, after that, there's a bunch of more dates coming up, but uh, then a bunch of them are to be determined. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, we're we're, we're one day, we're one day into the release. It, it's only been out 24 hours. Right. Get where I'm going? It's been out 24 hours, and 
You actually talk about I'm that. I'm able to talk to and have an interview with. You know what I'm saying? A home, a home. And I feel, I feel blessed because then once you get to all the other people, I could be. I say I, I was first. You know what I'm saying? Because I know once you blow up, you know. Don't forget about the little guys. Man. Ain't, ain't nobody little for me, right? <laughs> ain't nobody little. You know. You know. We just talking, man. We just talking. But you said when it you it dropped the other night. Tell me where where did it all come out at? You can stream it everywhere, it, it, like you say, seventy four countries, something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's streaming all over. It's actually streaming all over the world. Um, every every platform, and we sat up the other night waiting on it to be released. And it's supposed to be released at midnight here, but that was actually midnight on the other side. So they were watching it, Germany and Japan, while we were waiting on it. You know, so we oh, they seen it before y'all, right? But just to know that you got a song around the world, man, it it it, it, it don't it don't get no bigger than me. You know, you can jump in the car, sit next to you to one of you guys, and turn it on. And what you think, man? You like this man? Of course, he's gonna say like that's your man. But this, right, right. At this moment, at this very moment, is riding down the street saying you like this, and they don't know you. That's a vein, bro. That's a vibe. You know what I'm going? That's a vibe. Bro. That's a full blown vibe. Oh, man. That's full blown, full bro. Hey, and, and since I've been talking to you, because we talked last night and we talking now, you you've been smiling more like like eighth grade graduation. This like eighth grade yeah, graduation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, eighth grade graduation, you be smiling like a motherfucker, man. <laughs> that, that that joint we just cut. That's the diploma. That's, that's the diploma. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <a> that's, <laughs> that's that's crazy, man. I, I, I'm I'm just, I, can home, I can home, bro. I can hit a home in everybody's voice, bro. You know what, I mean? yeah. you know what I'm saying? You can hit a remix. You know, it, yeah. it, it, nobody was nobody was make believe. Nobody auto tuned. And it, everything was natural. You get where I'm going? It was like yeah. this is who I am. Everybody did what they was gonna do. You know, we we you know we didn't speak on money. With no cars in the video, you know, we didn't talk about the things that everybody else is talking about. You know what I'm saying? We stay true to who we are. And what that is, is that's trio life. You get where I'm going? Stay true to who right. you are, don't get out of character. Uh, don't get out of character. Right. Because there's too many false narratives being preached out here in the hip hop community, man, that's distorting our community. And I think that uh, it need, it's time for a new sound. It's time. Yeah, bro. It's been time, bro. It's been time. But you know, I, I don't knock, I really don't knock what nobody else is doing, but you know, per se, it's just not for me. You, you get where I'm going? It's right. just not for right. me. You know, it's like you, you know, you can't you can't be a Baptist and not a Christian for being for being what it is. You get where I'm going? That's just not for me. That's for you. You do you. I just don't have to join right. you. You get where I'm going? So and, I have a lot of guys asking and, about and, the music business. Go ahead. You know, but I, I was just saying, man, in all fairness to these young guys, I mean, they rapping about what they know, you know, and, and I and one thing that I, I don't like is when people try to tell them what to rap about and they telling you what they mm -hmm. talking about because they tell you what they know. And uh, we right. had a young lady, we interviewed this young lady on the show. And she said, this is the first generation of rappers that's actually living the life that they rap about. Because if you okay. think about it, more of them are getting locked up and going to jail and getting killed than ever. Like, we've yeah. never seen this many millionaire young guys getting killed like that, man. And it's, it's no, you know, no. it's crazy, man. You know, how do we stop that? Let me just stop there right quick and ask you that. How do you think we can harness that with our young guys? You know, being there to help them change the message, understand that it's not about destruction, man. Because I saw somebody, I'm going to add this, I saw somebody put a post out there, we not beefing, tell the truth, you just jealous. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's got a lot of people somebody, somebody else, you know. So can yeah. you elaborate on that? What do you think? Well, I think a lot of it, man, it's like, you know, it's it's... And we uh, economic, ec economical development. You get where I'm going, bro. An idle mind mm -hmm. is the devil's workshop, bro. And when somebody ain't got nothing to do and they hungry, man, they'll do anything to eat. 
That's just the way of life, bro. It's just the way of life. I can't change the pattern. You get where I'm going? I, I'm, I'm, I'm not Jesus. I can't change the pattern. But I know a hungry man will do what he needs to do to survive. So you're right. I go back into economical development when I say, as far as for like, don't lease the land, buy the land. Because if you take a, right. a, a, a multitude of businesses, man, and major corporations, and if you was to just put a distribution neighbor, a distribution center in the middle of the neighborhood, of vacant lots, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and show them how to work a forklift. I'm not saying they're supposed to work a nine to five job. That's not for everybody. But the opportunity is right. in the neighborhood. They don't have to travel to go look for it. It's right there. You get where I'm going? Most of us don't have transportation, first of all. Second of all, multitudes of jobs of 30, 40, 50 minutes, maybe an hour away from where you live. Some people don't have bus transportation, don't have bus fare. You know what I'm saying? If you give them away, they'll right. make a way. The bus is stopped running at a certain time. About. That's why I said, if you give them away, they'll make a way. And the third thing, You're right. if you got third shift, can't rob me. You got to get up and go to work. <laughs> I'm the least thing on his mind right now. You get where I'm going? But I say that to say, put it back yeah. in the neighborhood, man, and stop pulling out. Because we're 64% of the economy, man. 64% of the economy, yeah. bro. And they say the black dollar only rotate in, in the black community one time. As soon as we spin it, it's out of there. It's gone. It ain't coming back. You know? It's, it's, not, it's never coming it's back. It's not coming back. Because, you know, it's going to every other community, every other race's uh, economic wealth. Yeah. Every other race is getting ripped off of black people. Right. Because right. we're putting our money where our, where our mouth is. And that's now, a fact. We don't have I'm, Go ahead. I'm a, I'm a moderator, so I'm going to ask you a question. I'm, I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to let you give me the answer. Now, watch this. And tell me how contradictory this is. As a child, you was told to do everything today because tomorrow isn't what? Promised. Okay. But somebody else te teaches their children to save for what? The future. A rainy day, which means there is a tomorrow. Right. You get where I'm going. Right. So everything is just the opposite. Everything is just the opposite. It's not that That's we're bad people. It's just that what we were taught was just the opposite of what everybody else does. Right. You're right. We just were taught the opposite. You know what I'm saying? I know. I know people of different races that are in homes right now with 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 single parents, and they're raising their children, and some of their kids are doing the right the right thing. But when it comes to ours and they said it's a single household, oh, that family's destroyed. No, it's mm -hmm. not. No, it's not. Half the guys in the NBA came from single family homes. Half the guys in the NFL came from single family homes. And they're the yeah. biggest money makers in the world. Right. So they can't tell me, well, well his dad's in jail. He, his life is old. That's a lie, bro. Stereo, yeah. Stereotypical, hypocritical, whatever it's going to be. But Back to your question, man. I think it's 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 mainly finances, bro. Got to get some finances back in the neighborhood. Like I said, economical development. Start rebuilding up the neighborhoods, bro. Somebody's got to put something in for something good to come out. Of. You know, uh, I just think uh, we we had uh, AC Green on the show and we were talking to him, and he was just saying, in, in reality, we just need a reset. We need a culture reset to create a subculture where we start younger. And bring them up the old way, but not do old things. But the young, the the characteristics and the and the and the values that we were taught, because it's not about money when you have good values and you were correct way, because you will always find yourself in a good position if you do the right things. You know what I'm saying? And that's the way that's that true. we were raised, and that's why you are right now, because you took the path, you took the long route. You was like. Okay, it's not happening overnight. I'm gonna stay. The, I'm gonna stay the course. That's because you were taught to not give up. That had nothing to do with money, because you couldn't put a price on that. Because if it was about money, you would have quit a long time ago. Yeah. So yeah, man. I like I like what y'all doing, man. I wish we could uh, get the whole guy, get all the, the other guys on too, man, and they could share what they got, man. Because uh, I just think that what you guys are doing is uh, massive. You know, that's uh, 
uh, a new some some older guys y'all a, a little older up there and, and bringing that sound now I do I always like to say if you get Drake that song right there that song would be one of the top songs in America you see what I'm saying so now y'all putting it out it's a fresh sound let's go let me get a little it's snippet mean you it's mean you gotta work a little harder that's all but you know, it's out there for you though, because uh like you ever told me was I love you, I promise. How in the hell can you be loyal when you can't be honest? Find your strongest strength is your weakness, your weakness made me strong. My strongest weakness made me stronger, now the love is gone. Look if you can't respect the answer, please don't ask the question. You can't have the nose without the throwing the blessings and the lesson. The sound of noise, loud of sound speaks without a voice. You treated me like an option, I left you like a shot. Hey man, that hook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, she killed that thing, bro. She killed that. I, I, I told I, her. I, 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 graphic. What'd you say? I told her today. I said, "You murder man, dance that hook." Who's who's saying that? That's Liv. That's Liv. Liv from Trill Life, female artist. The female artist. Okay. That was Liv like oh. on the hook. Liv, you killing that hook, Liv. <laughs> man so what was the guys saying man when y'all finally all heard that man what was your what was the vibe like in the room when y'all finally like heard that all together like together i think uh yeah we actually after we cut into the studio we all left and we met at the trail life camp we met up at the trail life camp and we turned it on the bluetooth and we stood back we pushed play and i think it took about two minutes before it clicked in and look we looked around the room and each other like damn we got a hit you just you, you know what I'm saying you, you you know you put it together you don't know what's good until it's done and you taste it. So we went over there we cooked it we came over everybody put some in the bowl and everybody took this sip and looked up at each other like damn this fire. You know what I'm saying? And we looked at each other within you know, two minutes and we were like, damn. Hit, hit repeat and it stayed on the rest of the night. Wow, I know that was man. I know y'all was like, damn, we did yeah, that. Sir. We did yeah, that. Sir. So you said moving forward, you plan on doing what every month? What I what I want to do, my goal right now is on the 20th of every month, or at least once a month, I want to drop a single and a video every month. That that's 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 gonna be dope. Yes, sir. Nobody's ever that's, done it. That's, no one's ever done that's it. Dope. And my way of thinking with it is because if you take an album, you got 12, 13, maybe 15 songs on an album. It's actually, it's actually doing the same thing. It's just spreading it out. So instead of giving it all to right. you at one time, give you a little bit this month, a little bit next month, a little bit the month after. I'll get you fooled by Christmas. You'll, you'll, be, you'll be nice and fooled by the end of the year. 
<laughs> I think your man sent me a friend request. What's his real name? What's his government on what here? What are you talking about? If it, if it comes, I think uh, it's going to be Smoke D. Smoke D. That's going to be Smoke uh -huh. D. Okay. I could have sworn he sent me. It's going to be Smoke D. Uh, uh, to me no. One of the two. Let me see if I, because I could have swore I saw that before I came on. Oh, maybe I didn't. But yeah, man, I, I really enjoyed that, man. I'm going to tell you, man, because uh, that's one of them songs you can get on the expressway, man, and just roll. You know what I'm saying? Make sure drive. You can just, just roll out of that mug, man. You can just keep it on repeat, you know? Oh, man. Because, like, I, I, I'm, I ain't going to lie to you. I listened to it the first time, but I didn't really listen to it the first time. And then I listened to it again, and I listened to it. I was like, oh. And then it's like. This remind me of back when Ice Cube and all them was dropping shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Remember Ice Cube and them and they groups, man. They was coming with stuff, man. And when groups was when rap groups was out, not just these young yeah. guys, just one person, but when it was rap groups, man. People was coming with they they guys. Whatever happened? Right. To, they don't even do that no more, right? It ain't no division. Yes, huh? Division. Division. Yeah, that division is number one thing, man, that destroys us all, man, because uh, we all, everybody want to be greedy, man. Everybody want to be the boss, you know, and not, not understanding that, you know, it's enough for everybody. It's enough to go around for everybody, you know. I, I can live off of um, $500,000. I I went, I went, I went kind of high, but you know, I mean, I wasn't for the say no. I might have had that a couple of times. That right now, that's almost like the norm. <laughs> right? Yeah, the I can five hundred bucks. I can definitely do some things with that. I was trying no to. Doubt. I could have swore he sent me a friend request, but no, it's all good though. But man, let me ask you this though: if if you had to do it all over again. Would you change the path that you took? And do you ever look back and be like, you missed opportunities and did, were there opportunities prior to this that you felt like you should have gotten to and you didn't do it? Um, you was like kicking yourself in the ass, like, damn, I might not get this opportunity again. That's a tricky question. <clears throat> and the reason why I say that's a tricky question because <clears throat> a lot of good things happen along the way as well. Right, right. Wouldn't want to lose any. Wouldn't want to lose any of those. You get where I'm going. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I could say the same thing that everybody says to themselves. If I knew now what I knew then, or vice versa, I would go. But you get where I'm going. Right. There was a few things. I, a few things I'd done um, musically, and I could say for others that if I would have known the proper channels, with paperwork and a few other things, you get where I'm going. Mm -hmm. And uh, things might have been a little different. You, you know what I'm saying? But I'm actually glad that I made it to the to the capacity and at this point in my life that I'm at right now. And I can honestly say that because now when somebody walks up and says, hey, I'm trying to do blah, 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 blah with music. I can give you my answer and you can bank off of it because been there, done that. You, you get right. how I'm going. Right, right. I don't, have to, I don't have to sit there now and let them play 18 songs for me and, and stroke their ego and then tell them where to go. You know what I'm saying? Somebody wow. did that to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? They led you. They led you. Know say. Go ahead. No, I'm going to say they did that to you by just feeding, lead, leading you to, to believe. You get where I'm going. So right. I, would say, I would say yes and no. And for anybody that's out there that's watching right now that's actually in the business or getting in the business, learn your paperwork. Learn your paperwork. We got a couple of people on here. Don Johnson, he said, what's up? Erica Swanee, man, she said, uh, Harold Jackson, he said, I see you, bro. Buchanan, lady, what's up, Buchanan? Um, Erica Swanee, and Tracy, what's going on, Trebekah Clark? Uh, yeah, man, we appreciate y'all tuning in, man. We just want to 
Man, we just want to make sure. Yeah, Don say Don Johnson say everybody should be able to eat, man. You know, no. and that's the thing. People want to try to take the biggest part of the pie. Go ahead. What you gonna say? Hey, you said Harold Jackson. Harold Jackson. His real name is Heezy. 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 What's up, Heezy? <laughs> now, he, hey, Heezy is down in the Riddle, Louisiana. That's my man's. And when you watch the video. Heezy is the one with the red devil mask on with the knife. That's easy. Heezy, you want to jump on? I can send you the link, baby boy. You want to? <laughs> That's we easy. We random with it, man. We random with it, Heezy. Yeah, you did. Heezy, where you at? I'm going to drop the link in the chat. Hit the link and come on, jump on with it. Be on live. <laughs> there you go. I just dropped the look link in the chat. Okay. In the chat. You know what I miss, bro? You remember the um, 103rd and Princeton? I mean, I'm sorry, 99th and Princeton. Mm -hmm. with, us, with us out shooting ball in the summertime, oh, getting man. it in, barbecuing, Last. our Kelly would oh. pull up with his guys. Yeah, I miss them days, bro. You know, I miss them days when everybody would talk about music and what their dreams was and what they, what they wanted to become and yeah. what they was trying to achieve from. But one thing that was yep. significant about everybody that had a drink, they always said what they was going to do when they came back. Everybody. Ron Linton, mm. George Park, myself, right. Kales, all the guys. You know what I'm saying? Johnny P, Do or Die, yep. Twister. Everybody said what they was going to do when they came back. And the brat. I'm sorry, Shani, in case you watch. I'm sorry. And I just miss all them days, bro. That was the good days, bro. When you went from the west side of Chicago, bump and do or die, to, to, to come out south and 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 bump you some Donnell Jones. You, you know what I'm saying? Right. You went, took your music uh, both sides of the city and it was still relevant. That was the good days, bro. The good days. You know, you just named some really good artists, man. And you know, sometimes people forget how many artists come out of Chicago. You know? Give me your top 10. Chicago? Yeah, top 10. Wow. Boy, you just done something there. Okay, All do right. top five. Okay, top five. Okay. I got any genre. Okay. okay, I gotta put them in order of knowing if I can. Can I do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In Absolutely. Order of knowing them personally, I'm gonna take Brett because Brett set okay. it off the city with Funkified. I gotta go with Brett. Okay. She showed it. Brett, Brett set the city on fire with Funkified. Number yes, two, behind, behind Brett, I would have to go with Kales. I would have to go okay. with Kales Because I met a lot of good friends through Kales. A whole lot of good friends to this day. 20-year friends through R. Kelly. And the only reason why I met him, because I was whooping his ass at all the talent contests. And that's how I met Ron. Oh. They was in the studio downtown, and Kales said, this is dark skin motherfucker that I cannot beat no matter where I go. But it's cool. But anyway. You were so kidding Huh? You said you was kicking Kale's ass? Kicking his ass at every talent show we had in Chicago. When you see Ron, Ron will tell you about it. That's how I met Ron. But you know, Ron was background singing for him. That's how I met Ron. So you got, you got Brett, Kale's, my number three all time in Chicago is going to be Ronnie Linton. Okay, Ron Cole. I, Ronnie Linton. I'm going to take Ronnie Linton. After Ronnie Linton, I'm going to say, I have to know him personally. I'm going my personal file. Ronnie Linton. And then I'm going to go with Donnell Jones. That's four. And number five. Rest in peace, Johnny P. Johnny P. That's a good, that's a, that's a good five. What's up, Heezy? What's going on with it, man? What's good with y'all? Can you hear the chili? What's going on with it, man? You was how, how, how you enjoy uh, doing the video, man? Was that thing off the chain out there? And seeing it get real too, and it was crazy. Hey, what your T-shirt say, bro? I always say, "Kill Switch." Oh, oh, by whom? <laughs> by Shy Jones, my man. <laughs> <laughs> big bro, big bro. What's that? Man? So, so he. 
what you do, man? What's what's your what you do, man? You you rapping, you singing, what you doing, bro? No, I'm just I just do a little just um little promoting, you know what I'm saying? I ain't doing the music type like that. Just Okay. Okay. So where you at? You down in the south yeah, I'm too? I'm down in um the river weeds now. Okay. Man, I love that South, man, boy. I tell you, man, that weather good as hell down there, man. Damn, boy. Oh, yeah, it's good down there. What's, what's, the, what's the weather right now? What is down there? Uh, uh, hold on. I, I don't know what it is right now. It's probably about 40 <laughs> something right now. Oh, well, damn. Y'all like us then? Yeah, today. Y'all like us? Yeah, it's supposed to be up to 90 uh, next week. I mean, uh, not 90, I'm sorry, uh, 60 next week. So, man, let me ask y'all something, man. Why do y'all think music is so popular down in the South, though, man? Because y'all got a th y'all got a good sound down there. Like, it always been had y'all own sound. What, what does that sound com come from? Well, you know, I might, I know that, that might sound a little complicated there, but y'all got your own sound. You know, what I, you know what I picked up on when I got down here? All that music come from the soul. Yep, yep, that part. Mm -hmm. They music come from the soul, bro. From the from the blues to to their dance music, whatever. It's all got soul. All of it. Right. I give a damn how fast it is. It's got some soul in it. That dude, uh, who is it? Uh, and I and I I love his style. This, but I mean, I think I told somebody one day I could see me and this guy working in the studio together. And if he's listening, or if anybody knows him, I am dying to work with Anthony Hamilton. He's one song. That that that's possible, man. You put it out there in the universe, we can make that happen, man. We can. That's definitely hey, anything's possible. possible. Anything's possible. Me and Smoke D work together. Yeah, that's 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 huge right there, man. I mean, you don't you can't script that because we heard it right here, you know. Yes, sir. It's, it was. Hey boy, that motherfucker right there, boy. <laughs> right there, boy. That's hot right there, man. And y'all be making that party music down there, man. That's what I love too. But man, I, you know, I'm, I, I know you probably gotta go, man. And I, I definitely, you know, I gotta get this up on IG because I got, I gotta put it. I gotta flood the networks with it because I got Shot Jones on here, man. I got Trail Life on here, man. We, this ain't gonna happen every day. So I just wanna ask you, man. Is there anybody, man, you wanna get some special thanks to? Anybody you wanna just remember, man? Any one of y'all, y'all wanna just get somebody a shout out, man? Just say thanks, man, for for supporting me or whatever. Time is now, okay. baby. All right, well, first of all, I'm going to give a shout out to my baby, Tracy Reynolds. Uh, second of all, uh, for what we got going on right now, of course, uh, my whole entire Trill Life family, all around the world, all around the world, all around the world, everybody that got that, that, that thing right there, you know what I mean? Thank you for accepting me for who I am and let me be who I was sent to be. Smoke D, Liv, Al, Hayes. From the top to the bottom, my whole Trill Life family, my, my man in Dorita Heasy, uh, uh, my Trill Life family in Houston, uh, everywhere, uh, Louisiana, Chicago, New York, just, 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 I got a million people, Grand Rapids, Michigan, uh, 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 Boomtown for shooting the video, uh, just, just, man, bro, Bob. Uh, you 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 got you got them, man. You hey, you got to show them the love, baby. People want to hear their name, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, look, and special shout out, special shout out, because I know they're watching right now. Pure royalty entertainment. All the people that y'all saw in the background of the video that was doing the dance. Pure royalty entertainment. They're from Grenada, Mississippi. Actually, Sassolino Gambino is from Chicago. She lives in Grenada, Mississippi, and we made a pact years ago. She and I. Whoever got on, come get the next one. So when I got to Mississippi and we started to shoot this video, we went and got sass and brought our whole company with us. That's real, man. That's real. 
Heezy, what you got, big baby? I know this was brief, man, but I just want to bring you on, man. Oh, yeah. I got to give a shout out to my boy, Shy right there, and, and Tracy Reynolds, and the whole Trill family. That's that's all it is for me. They, hey. Oh, man, that's real, man. Shout out. I got one more question. Here we can go. All right, I'm with you, man. You don't never get no shouts out. And I watch your show all the time. Your turn. You get some shouts out. Man, I want to give a shout out to everybody out there in the Wild Hunters, man. You know, growing up out there, man, you know how it was out there, man. Give it up to the shy, to the Wild Hunters, man. While I was raised there in Rolling, give it up to Jackson State, man. They took me in down to Jackson Thank State. You. Shout out to Chicago State. I got my degree from there. Shout out to them, too. Shout out to these people all around the world, man. Shout out to my kids, man, for pulling up with their drunk ass daddy when he was drunk. <laughs> I'm clean now. <laughs> Shout out to my kids. So it's all ball, man. And don't don't forget to swing over to that website and get the world's first social distance device, the culture, www.culturedevices.com. It's the only device, man, you can carry around in this rechargeable covers of feet, 500 square feet. You can put on your own concert with this joint, man. Hit me up, Bobby Reed. Hit me up. Follow me on um on Instagram, Shy Millie23, Facebook, Robert Bobby Reed, uh Chicago Millionaire on Twitter. What can they find you guys at? Uh, go uh, go to go to my YouTube. Go on to Shy Jones. Look for look for this chocolate face. Uh, I'm accepting everyone right now as, as, as we speak. And uh, share, like, please. What I need right now, though, Bob, I need everybody to go on YouTube, Vivo, and and, and pull up the video. Take off your ed edit your privacy on your Facebook page. Share it. Help us get it to go platinum. It can happen because guess what? We know enough people. We know enough people. If everybody edits the privacy, let it go public and share 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 hit the like and the subscribe button go and tell somebody well man on that note man this is the culture podcast you know the podcast for the unsung heroes the person with a voice you might not necessarily know who they are so they come to kick it with your boy robert bobby reed shot jones easy we up out of here we're gonna play this track though before we get up out of here i'll play it one more time do rock the trail baby Rock it, man. That piano, listen to that boy. Y'all can hear it good, but. Myself doing my best to trip me. This used to abuse them on it, but never loved and needed. A private promise from an angel keeping devil secrets. The best lie you ever told me was I love you, I promise. Hey, when it get to your part, Shot Jones, can you rap it? Your strongest strength is your weakness, your weakness made me strong. Your strongest weakness made me stronger. Now the look if you can't respect the answer, please don't ask the question. You can't have the most the blessings in the lesson. I know it's a lot of sounds, but it's without a voice. You treated me like an option. I left you like a I choice. I got this video. It's like you treated me like an option. I left you like a choice. <laughs>
to death, man. Thank you for coming on. Easy, nice meeting you. you Catch up later. We're going to do this again next week. If you you get the whole crew, get everybody, man. We're going to do this one more time. Let's do it next week. Boy, Robert Bobby Reed, we out of here, man. Peace. See you.